Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're at Gatley Golf Club. Let well, me come and do a quick nine holes. Not played here before. Um, first impression, not good really. Pro shop shut. Um, it's cost me £12.50 for nine holes. If you book it online, it is cheaper. So you thought they'd give you the uh, cheaper price, but no. And no cards. So I've got to figure out where I'm going. So really, it's not a good start. So we'll see how we go on our way around. Just give it our stuff out. It's starting to spit a bit. So hopefully we'll uh, we'll get the camera out and we'll uh, we'll take it around with us. So back shortly. Hi right, guys, on the first tee, and it is a 405 yard par four. And like that, the heavens have just opened. So we're just going to wait there for a minute. Okay, guys, we're on the uh, first. That's the first hole done. And now it's just spitting a bit. And now on to hole number two, which is. Uh, 449 yards So I've stood on the tee and I haven't got a clue where the green is So we'll just have to hit it down the middle and hope <laughs> But yes, uh, it's stopping raining again now, so yeah the nine hole course, as I said before, uh, in Gatley. Another one that has been around for a while that I've never played, so I thought I could be going to try. With being a Sunday, uh, just didn't expect to get drenched. Must be the thing about me and golf courses on Sundays. Right, we're going to play the second, see if we can hit the fairway, and we'll show you where the second green is. Don't go away. Right, guys, on the uh, second fairway. As you can see, we're riding the flight path again. Not as bad as Cheadle, but yes. So yes, it's a dog leg right, the uh, tee, which is all the way down there. And as it stopped raining, we might start drying off a bit, because we are a bit wet. And I think I'm going to need some new waterproof trousers, because these aren't waterproof anymore. But never mind. Right, so we're on the second fairway. And we'll take you down to the second green. Don't go away. Okay, we're on the third green. Uh, the tee's back there. Just over there, you can see it. Got two bunkers here, protecting it. And a major green. It looks like there should have been a bunker there as well, but there's not anymore. A bit, bit deceiving that hole. It's, uh, it's not what it says it was. I don't think, but we played safe. Anyway. So as you can see down the bottom there, there's a few houses, and the green is tucked in the corner there. So we'll see if we can get down there, and we'll uh, pick you up from hole number four. All right, so we're on the fourth hole. Where you are coming from? Back over there. My fingers are in there, are they? Somewhere over there. Right, so we'll move on to the uh, fifth hole, which I haven't got a clue where it is. Oh, let's be over here. The only thing that's disappointing about this is there's no there's no real signs to say where you are. This is the 14th. Ah, oh, this, here we go. 
247 yards, stroke index 16. Um, so the 14, you get whites up there, is it the same? 14. Looks like it, same tees for both holes. And the green is straight down the middle. As you can see it, so I'm zooming you in. Just be able to see the green there. So yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say at the minute. I'll think about it and I'll talk to you in a minute when I get up to the uh, fifth hole before we go over the range to track again. So back shortly. So the range just starting again. I'll go to hole number uh, five. I'll just turn it around so you can see it. And we've come from all the way down there. Yeah, nice, uh, nice looking fairways. And uh, right, so we'll just chip on the green, get this one on. We're three to go. Hopefully, we can get off this course before it starts chucking it down again. Yeah, so we'll talk to you shortly. Okay, so we've done the first five, which are across the bridge. There's the bridge. So that's the first five is across the bridge. We're going to come on to the uh, hole number six. I think he's down here somewhere. Yep. So it is quite spread out. Uh, oh, yeah, the fairways do look nice. Pathways are a bit muddy. So we're on hole number six which is 376 off the whites or 346 off the reds um, straight in front of it looks like it's the T I do find it strange that they haven't put the these no yellow 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 um, yeah they jump strange Right, so we've got to hole number six, and we'll uh, pick you up again when we get down to the the green. I'll just give you a quick view of the uh, the clubhouse, which is from the hole number six. Oh yes, number six hole. As you can see, a bit uh, out of the sunshine here. A few bare bits around on the greens. But, uh, that's where we come from, back over there. So yes, yeah, that's hole number six. So uh, moving on to hole number seven. Okay, we're up to hole number seven, which is down a bit of a dip. There's the green. So we have come from all the way back over there past the trees. We've got two holes to play. The rain's coming out again, and just speaking to a few people on the course, uh, they're saying that the place has been sold, or in the process of being sold. So if you're on the bucket list to play here, you better do it quick. And as the rain started again, I have to put the camera away. So I'll speak to you back when we start on the uh, seventh hole. Cheers, guys. All right, just give you some info on the hole number eight. We tee off just behind them hedges there. So you do get a good view of 
down the fairway than you would, I think, on the, the ladies' tees, where you've got the uh, set of trees there blocking you out. So, yeah, eighth hole. And the impression I do get, and obviously this is just my opinion, is that this is a course that um, needs a lot of TLC and he's not going to get any. Because the truth is they're selling it. I'll go to the Green Keepers of the Lost Heart. The pro shops never open. As far as I know. So yeah, it just... Uh, one of the feel sorry for the members really. You know, they're trying to play golf the best they can. And they've got a course that's uh, not being maintained to a high standard. Obviously, that's just what I think looking at the place. It's by the tees looking overgrown. They're not short, the grass is quite long. And it just looks an old course that's uh, it's slowly dying. Which is a shame. For a nine holder, it'd be ideal for a few people, this in Gatley. You know, if you've got, uh, oh my God, if you've got nowhere to go. You don't want to join one of the bigger clubs. Probably the ideal place to come. So we've got to find this ball now, which is somewhere down here. And then we're on to the, uh, the eighth green. And the sun's come out again now. So it's uh, waterproof off. I'll speak too shortly. So don't go away. Alright, hole number eight. Another very small green. So yeah, you uh I think you'd have to walk the course to, to know it first if you haven't played it before. It's very you know, greens are very deceiving. I don't think the camera will give you much uh, how big it is. So we've come from all the way down there over the bridge I think it was a par 4 so you probably quite easily do the par 4 it's a nice little hole actually uh, a bit deceiving the way you where I was with how far away from the green you'd probably have to go for a walk to make sure but I can't be bothered doing that too late right so we're on hole number 9 Stroke index 12. So, yes, we're on a nice par 3. It's probably looking at the best uh, hole they've got. It's a shame to do with uh, what they do with all these benches if they do sell the place. Obviously, they've got some people that spend a lot of time in these places. Out for into the family, I suppose. Right, so hole number nine. Go all the way down there. Hopefully, you can see that. So, we'll finish off with this hole, and then we'll. Uh, I'll give me thoughts, proper thoughts on all, on all the whole course. Just bear with me and we'll speak to you when we've finished hole number nine.
Totally misread Judy that, totally, totally misjudged it. Right guys, that's more than that's nine holes. Give a quick shot of the nine hole here. So out of all the nine holes, hole number nine is the best one. The tee box was, uh, was excellent, nice and flat. And uh, probably the best green. This one of the whole lot. Um, so yeah. So final summary. Would I play here again? Possibly. Might come and do it again. Now I've been around once. I know what I'm looking at. Uh, marks out of ten. Probably a five. Uh, would have been a bit higher, you know. Pro shop being open. Price you paid cheaper online. So if I booked it online, it'd have been cheaper. But I thought, no, the club might want the money. So I thought I couldn't pay direct. The guy behind the bar didn't seem to know what he was doing. Unfortunately for him, no cards. And no offer of a cheaper price. Which I thought was a. Uh, not nice because the cheat all the other week I got offered the same price as what you'd pay online. Right, so I'll have to move on now because there is a guy behind us on the ninth hole. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, what we got coming up next? We've got a visit to Wigan coming up, a uh, visit to Marple. Uh, where else are we going to? Went to Hartford as well. And there will be another one somewhere in there in between. I don't know which one it will be yet. So yeah, so that's everything from Gatley. So I will put all the links to all the, to the club in the description. So if you want to come and play here before it goes, I think it probably will be doing. How long I don't know, because we are doing a April to September package at the minute, I've seen that. Which some uh, people talk who've got that on the on the course. So yeah, if you're looking for stuff to do, and you live near Gatley, obviously within your area, Cheadle, you want nine holes. Sunday seems to be quiet here. I would book online just to uh, get the cheaper price. Uh, and on the Sunday you will have to go to the bar. Uh, there's a TV in there, if you want to watch the TV afterwards. I don't know whether they do any food. And there's a snooker table, whether you'll get on it, I don't know. So yeah, so that's everything here from Gatley. And uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks to all the, uh, the 30 subscribers we've got at the minute. Any more would help. Don't forget it's not all about golfers, there'll be stuff about they've got a drone coming. And uh, there'll be some videos of my bike, a couple of incidents last week, which I've got just to need to download. I see some idiot drivers. So yeah, so that's it from Gatley, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Thanks for watching.